Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft Edge has received a very important security update. And the update actually rolled out in two phases. On the 11th of March, which was two days ago in my region, Microsoft rolled out one security update to address a zero day that's already been exploited in the wild so that means the exploit is out there, it's current, and it's happening. So this is a very important security update. And then late yesterday in my region on the 12th, they rolled out the kind of second half of the update. Now there was nothing in the release notes yesterday regarding the zero day. I only saw it this morning. So I have found that Microsoft is late in updating the release notes lately when it comes to these browser updates. So because we are dealing with a zero day that's exploited in the wild it's very important to double check that your browser is up to date by heading to your main menu help and feedback about microsoft edge and after this update has been applied the version and build is sitting on 134.0.3124.66 now a couple of days ago when version 134 rolled out which is the latest release that point release was 0.51 and then on the 11th, the update that rolled out patching the zero day was 0.62. And now with the latest Chromium security fixes, which rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 12th, that's been bumped up to 0.66. But that's quite a mouthful. But nonetheless, just make sure that you check your browsers up to date because it will bump it up to the latest point release, which means your browser is fully patched against the security flaws and the zero day exploited in the wild. Now, just focusing on that zero day, according to Microsoft, the zero day is out of bounds right in GPU on Mac. Now, it's only affecting Mac users and not Windows, as far as we know so far. But nonetheless, any zero day, we just make sure our browser is up to date. And to give you more specifics about what an out of bounds right vulnerability is, um, it's similar to a buffer overflow where it writes data beyond the boundaries of allocated memory. And then this vulnerability may allow a remote unauthenticated attacker to execute arbitrary code. And um, so this is a very important um, fix, especially if you are running Mac. Now, the rest of the security fixes that have rolled out are for the open source Chromium project. And by the way, that zero day is part of the Chromium security fixes, although Google over on their release notes for our five security fixes that rolled out doesn't mention anything about a zero day which could be that um, they didn't want information getting out there too soon because as mentioned zero days are active they are currently happening so the reason why google didn't mention the zero day is be could be because it's um they didn't want the info to get out there so it could fall into the wrong hands so to speak so Five security fixes rolling out for the Chromium project, which the browser is based on. Three of those are high severity, two of which are type confusion in the V8 JavaScript engine, and then the third high severity is the out of bounds writing GPU on Mac, which is the zero day we're talking about uh, in this video. And then over and above those fixes that have rolled out, I'm not noticing any tweaks or adjustments at this stage that the update has introduced, but Double check your browsers up to date sooner than later if you are using Edge. Um, even if you're not and it is on Windows, just check it's up to date because it is your first line of defense to the online world. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.